how do you describe both a beginning and an end? We should have known better, but we didn't. What does it matter what we think we know? In the end, there's no denying the truth. As the world faces the most serious food shortage in history, perhaps there is a ray of hope. I'm Buck Williams, and I'm standing in a wheat field in the middle of the Israeli desert. Dr. Rosenzweig, it looks like Iowa. We've truly been blessed with a miracle. One that you have created. Now, the biggest question remains, who do you trust? Every nation, every corporation wants your formula. Especially in light of the recent crop failures. No, no, no. Eden is not for a sale. Not for money. All I want is peace for Israel. A peace that... It looks like the Israeli Air Force never sleeps. Those are not our planes. Not from that direction. Let's take cover. Mr. Williams, please, this way.
הצדדים יודיעו בקו השדה, וכל הצוות הכללי ייכנס לכוננות גבוהה. What's going on? It's a full-scale air attack. No warning. By who? Could be anyone. No one has more enemies who want to see her destroyed than Israel. We can't give our planes up. It's a treachery. Radar's jammed. Ignition problems. They're over Jerusalem. The Eden Project could have fed the whole world. But now, the miracle is going to die with us. Those planes are coming down, but we haven't fired a shot. It's not possible. They're jamming our monitors. It's a cruel trick. Only one way to find out. No! Mark! Williams reporting live from Israel. I am standing in the middle of an all-out attack. The sun is gone. Thousands of planes are soaring overhead. Fire is raining from the sky. This is just unbelievable. This has got to be the biggest surprise attack since Pearl Harbor. Get out of the book. I've been informed by top-ranking military officials that Israel has been unable to launch even a single plane in defense. Buck would have filmed Hiroshima from ground zero if you'd been there. Yeah, that's our Buck. That as I stand here, fighter planes are exploding in midair. They're crashing and falling to the ground without any explanation. And while no one can seem to give me any reason for why this is happening, I can tell you this. This all-out, unprecedented attempt to destroy Israel appears to be failing. War will continue until the end. Desolations have been decreed. You will confirm a covenant with many for seven years. Correspondents from the Israeli army deny any connection with the destruction of the planes. However, inside sources reveal hey, turn that up. the suspicion Mom of said to turn it down. laser defenses. You always do as you're told? Course, yeah, you should try it sometime. So please stay tuned to GNN for the most reliable and up-to-date information. I'm Buck Williams. <laughs> Mom, can't we find my art book? Sure. If you'll help me clean up a little and put up some more of these streamers. No, thanks. Never having kids. Lucky them. Oh, nice touch with the nose ring, Chloe. Why not just shave your head and get it over with? Very funny. I thought that your flight didn't leave until midnight. Well, they just called. They want me on the New York-London. 
Well, what about Raimi's birthday party? He's fine. What Raimi wants is that knight's helmet I promised him from Buckingham Palace. Right, pal? Right. Or a sword. One of those long, pointy sticks that they put heads hey, on. Don't push it. All right, what does he come up with this stuff? Sunday school. You have to go now, though. If you want me to get that helmet, I do. Okay. Hey. Hey. I'll be back in three days, all right? Okay. Okay? All right. See, I told you, there is right. nothing wrong. We talked about this. Look, you knew I don't that the have party any control. Today. Yes, you do. You can say no. Doorbell. Yeah, coming. Put it in your Hey, pocket. Reverend. Hey, hey, Ray, what's going on? Come on in, Bruce. Hey, Bruce, how's it going, What's man? up, birthday boy? Bruce, where's Jenna? Hey, hey. Oh, baby's sick. Oh, thanks. Don't throw the ball in the house. Hey, see you, Remy. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while, Ray. Well, people still have to fly, even on Sundays, Bruce. Excuse me. Ray. And what I say? Ray. See you in a couple days, all right? Okay. I love you. Yeah, me too. Dad, where are you going? You heard me tell your mother I have to go to London. I have to work. What about Remy? I can see that your bags are all packed, ready to go. You know I have exams. I have to go. And I have a flight. It's called a job. Welcome to the real world. See that your mother has all those people coming over, and I just can't listen to her. They're not my favorite people either. You know what? Maybe we could show her some support. Well, what about her? What about her accepting what the rest of us think? You know, she's on me, too, but at least I listen. You know, sometimes I even pretend to take an interest. It's not like she's hurting anybody. I wouldn't say that. You know, maybe you should try talking to her instead of running away all the time. Good luck on your exams, sweetheart. Safe flight, Dad. Mr. Williams. Hey, good to see you back. Thanks. Hello? Buck, Dirk Burton. I know who's behind those planes falling out of the sky. Dirk, what are you talking about? Not on an open line. Meet me at the usual spot. Danger, Buck. All of us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dirk, just calm down. Just knock it down a couple thousand RPMs. What's the matter? It's Cawthorn. I got the file. He thought it was locked, but I got it. I got in. What do you know about Rosenzweig? Dirk, what are you talking about? Don't you see? I'm Rosenzweig. The formula. Come see. See, see it's so clear. What is? What is? The attack. The attack. The, the bombers exploding. The flights exploding. You see? See, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all fitting together now. I see it. Because they've been behind this whole thing from the very beginning. The research grants, the, the, the trust funds. And then, and then there's the currency. That's the next step. You see, the, the, the dollar, the, the pound, the yen, the euro, they're going to make it all into one. One. And don't you see, Buck? Don't you see? It's always about the money, isn't it? What do you know about life? Right. Come on, you must have said something. Come on, Dirt. come on. Come on. Think, think, Buck, think! When is the last time you slept? Oh, I'll get all the sleep I need when I'm dead. Rosenzweig. Come on, Buck. Rosenzweig. Look, he's a scientist. He's a UN delegate. He's my friend. 
Time's a good guy. Well, he might have all the world's best intentions in mind, but not the guys behind him. Not them for sure. Who? Catherine and Stonegal. Those guys are bankers. Yeah. What do they have to do with those planes in Israel? Ten tracks of land. The whole thing. But they're gonna go further. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, it's gonna go on. They're not finished, you know. What's next, huh? Huh? What's next? Who knows? It's gonna be unimaginable. Here. Look at this. Stonegal's plan for the world. Come on, Dirk. This is an old college essay. What's that? Everything. From Catherine's computer and all the stuff I've been working on. No, 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 I can't give it to you. I can't risk you being caught with it. I... Caught by who? The NSA, the, the CIA, the... The Mossad. I, I mean, who knows Dirt. how far this goes, Papa? You are a nut, and I love you. I always have, I always will. But come on, man. If you've got something, then give it to me, right? Or give it to Alan. All right, we will help you put this thing I, 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 I need more time. But don't worry, Buck. When I get all the pieces in place, you'll blow Cawthorn and Stonegal out of the water. Sir, promise me you'll do it. Listen, you bring me a story, and you know I'll drive it down to the bone. Get some sleep. Seriously. Must have been a nightmare over there, huh? Had to get the story. Thanks, Mitch. Amil Kama, Tanesh, Arasov. What's he saying? Wo imshin et habrit sheva shamin. I don't know. It sounds like Hebrew. No, I was there. I heard him. It was English. Amazing you could hear anything with those explosions going off everywhere. What used to be a third world problem is now knocking on the door of even the most prosperous nations. How can we find peace when people are stuck? <laughs> Father Teresa. <laughs> oh, if we all listen to Carpathia, we'd be one big happy family. <laughs> Scary would be related. Speaking of families, this just came over the wire. Europe has just standardized their currency with Korea. Bizarre, huh? One step closer to a global currency. Come on, darling, I need you. <clears throat> Ivy. Ivy, see if you can get Dirk Burton on the phone for me. Why, we're doing another story about Area 51? Amil Chama Temesh Arasov, Apakuda Heres, Wo Imshin Et Abrit Sheva Shamin. World Peace. It's been a dream ever since Cain looked sideways at Abel. And thanks to your efforts, it can become a reality for all of us. It has only been possible with your support, Mr. Stoddard. Ah, yes, but you have natural presence, Nikolai. And you give us every confidence in your ability to lead the UN. Thank you, sir. Your generosity is overwhelming. It's called money. It gives us that luxury. Your main concern the one thing you have to worry about is that one issue, world peace. Yes, of course. In your opinion, will Dr. Rosenzweig accept our proposal? It is an enormous decision for him. He is very close. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will help convince him. This is incredible. How did you? Mr. Stonegal, I'm not sure I have the authority to... My friend, if you want events to mirror your desires, you create your own policy. Based on your past successes, I'm sure you're right. And Rosenzweig should know who he can trust. So should you, Nikolai. You know, I, I can see myself at your age, 
And I can see your deep concern for the global conscience. If I could accomplish even half as much as you and Mr. Cothran. You will, you will outdistance us. We'll see to that. I have a plane waiting for you. Bring us back that olive branch. Good luck. I don't like it, John. Don't worry. You think people see him as a hero, and we need a hero to move our plans along. And who will deliver the Arabs? Their children cried from hunger, yet they still chose war. But I've rearranged some shipments. When their children die of hunger, the Arabs will cry for peace. It's all coming together perfectly. Assuming, of course, that uh, you've taken care of your security problems. Dirk Burton used to be an info tactics ferret at the Pentagon before he joined my Manhattan office. Regrettably, he's found it hard to give up his meddling ways. Well, I'd say that Mr. Burton will have to sacrifice his pension and his health benefits. Check the yaw damper. Check. This thing feels like it's still out of rig. All right, let's resume 287. And you'll be serving him coffee. Sorry. I know I've been a little anti-social this flight. So, how's my favorite flight attendant? It's okay, Buck. I can always tell when you're working on a big story. Kind of get this look. <sighs> Thank you again for making those phone calls. I got the job. You did? Great. Congratulations. It's gonna be a big change. Oh, you're gonna knock him dead. I can't wait. You know, the UN's no picnic, especially right now. And this is? I thought it was going to be a quiet night. Any coffee, guys? Oh, absolutely. Black for me. Right? Yeah, same for me. Thanks, Abby. Uh, so, what's this I hear about you leaving us? What, are you gonna take some time off? I'm taking the job at the UN. Tonight's my last flight. Why? What, you just want to change? Just felt it was time to move on. What? had to make a move. Man, what is that supposed to mean? 
Means I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of the looks, the flirting. I'm waiting for you to give me a reason why I should stay. everything okay? It's my husband. He, he's disappeared. You know what? I bet he just slipped off to the restroom while you were asleep. Would you mind checking, please? Okay, sure. And, and take this. Ma'am? I think he's gone off naked. Be right back. Honey, have you seen the kids? Mm. Mm, super. Where are they? Where, where are my kids? People are missing. Dozens of seats. Empty. Patty, it's a big airplane. People are probably in the lab. I'm telling you. They're not here. They're not anywhere. Okay? Their shoes, their clothes, their glasses. It's crazy. They're all left behind. The people are gone. I'll be right back. I am not nuts, Ray. Go look for yourself. Have a gun, Har. Please just take your seat. Patty, help me, please. Sit down. We'll find them. You're not me next. I'm not going next. Patty, try and get a head count. No. No. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of this plane right now. No. No, no, no. Don't grab it. No, no, no. No. Nobody's gonna die. Just take it easy. Just take it easy, okay? You're gonna be all right. What's going on, Captain? I don't know. Just take it easy. Hi, Mom. It's me. I just want to apologize for missing the party this afternoon. <laughs> Please, 
Lori, 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 come over, please. Folks, listen to me. Listen, please. Please, we are at 37,000 feet. Nobody just walked off this airplane. If I can get you to just take your seats, we'll handle your problems one at a time. Please. We've got to get these people back in our seats and start emergency procedures. Just do it. I need you to do this. Just do it. Heidi, Heidi, get over here. Patty, Patty, Patty I'll help. Oh, sit down. Everyone, sit down and take your seats. Okay, help us, please. Come on, let these people do their job. I got a point, right? Passenger emergency oxygen. Yes. The cabin pressure's fine. They don't know that. Do it now. But Ray, the... I said do it now. Mayday, Mayday, this is Pan Con Heavy, 907. Mayday. Ray, what is going on? Concord 2701. I assume you're missing passengers too. That's affirmative, Concord. What's going on? I don't know, but it's everywhere. Say again? Concordia, Morley, lost air traffic controllers, missing flight crews, planes down all over. We're turning back. If you're there, I need your help. I need you to find Dirk Burton. I've got to talk to him. I think he may be on to something. Good luck. Take care. Captain. Captain. Captain, I've got to get to New York. It's an emergency. Friend, everybody's got an emergency right now. But you don't understand. Look, if I get to New York, I can find some answers. No, you don't understand. You know how lucky we are to get to O'Hare? All the other Air Force are shut down. Come on, there's got to be a way. Listen, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important. All I care about right now is getting home to my family. If you'll excuse me, please. Now, come on, think. You've got to know somebody who can help me out. 
All right, I guess I do owe you for saving my neck on the plane. Yeah, there is somebody I know. He's got a charter service. Come on. Irene? Honey? Rainy? Irene! Hi, Mom. It's me. I just wanted to apologize for missing the party this afternoon. Chloe? Ramey? Son? beginning. It's a little late for that.
As we deal with our own crisis, we are very grateful that the UN is doing all that they can to find out who or what is responsible for this horrible act of evil. How does this affect our food redistribution network? Strangely enough, all of our operatives are still in place. Unbelievable. The whole world turned upside down. I mean... <laughs> yes. Convenient, isn't it? Joshua, never wait for opportunity to knock. Yank open the door and drag it screaming and kicking inside. Brain me with that vase. What's happening? <laughs> My mother and brother. You must be Chloe. I'm sorry I scared you. My mom and Remy are. I'm so scared for them. I know. I don't know if they're dead or lost. It's like a nightmare. How's your dad? He's passed out from exhaustion upstairs. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. No, it's not. Listen, I've got to get to New York if I'm going to find some answers. Now, your dad told me about a man. Ritz. Ken Ritz. He's a private pilot. Can you tell me how to find him? I'll take you there. No. No, I can't let you go outside. It's madness out there. I'll go mad if I just sit here and do nothing. Let's go. One thing. If you find anything, you let me know. I promise. You want to sweeten the pot a little bit, huh? Yeah, $2,000 to St. Louis from an Airbnb shirt. $3,000 to Denver. Sorry, folks, cash only. Now, bear in mind, all commercial airports are shut down tight until further notice. $4,000. $4,000 to Des Moines. I've got diamonds. $25,000. For 48 hours. 25 large. Why, you're 30, anybody? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? Done. Hey, Chloe. How are you? So can you uh, vote for this guy? Well, I'll take a close look, Ken. He's Mr. GNN himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, uh, the guy who does the news updates during football games, right? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> nice hair. 
Well, okay, mister, you bought yourself a pilot. Uh, well, I'll see you in the office, huh? Come on, folks. Don't forget your promise. As soon as I find something. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. I hope you find some answers. I hope you find your family. Aliens. That's what I think. I'm not talking little green men. Huh? This is sophisticated, you know? Area 51 stuff, dematerialization. Like Star Trek? Come on, my theory's no wackier than some of the stuff floating around out there. Alternate dimensions, terrorist kidnappings, <laughs> Nostradamus prophecies. Come on. The guy on the radio quoted a good one from the Bible. You know the story about the two men standing in a field? One gets taken, the other guy's just left standing there. Uh, yeah, two women standing in a kitchen. One gets taken, the other one's left doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah, but wh what do all the missing people have in common? Well, all the kids are gone. It's like the Pied Piper story, but explain the adults. So maybe something made all children and adults, selected adults, a target. What, you mean like easier to snatch? Could be blood type, brain waves, uh, DNA, who knows? <sighs> This is insane. People don't just disappear. <laughs> now, the real question is, are they gone for good or will they be sent back? Or even worse, will more of us disappear? And how do you hide from something like this? Maybe the common factor isn't in those who are taken. Maybe it's in those who are left behind. Hey, news guy. Yeah. I have been going out of my mind, driving all over, looking for you. Where did you go? I couldn't just sit there. What if they were hiding somewhere? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I tried the hospital and the police. I'm sorry, baby. Even our friends. I'm so scared. Maybe we should try the church. Yeah. Don't start. Well, if your mom was right, nobody would be there anyway, huh? Don't make fun of her, not now. I'm not making fun of her. But think about it. Where did she spend most of her time? Where was she the happiest? She was happiest when you were home. Chloe, the things that your mom believed in, the things that she talked about, what if they were true? I'm going home. Someone should be there if... When they come back.
What did he send you? fraud I am. And everybody bought it. <laughs> Except you. I knew your message. I knew your words. I stood right here! I preached it! And I was good! But they're gone! They're gone, and... Oh, but no one and believing are two different things. I'm living a lie. I'm living a lie. for you right now asking you God forgive me of my sins I am asking you give me one more chance to receive you in forgive me God use me Lord, please, just use me. He already has. He already has. Still there? It's me. I need to know what Dirk Burton sent you. Call me as soon as you can. Hello, I'm Pastor Vernon Billings of the New Hope Village Church. If you're watching this tape, you are no doubt confused. Let me encourage you. Your loved ones, your children, your friends, and your acquaintances have not been snatched away by some evil force or some invasion from outer space. Come on. What's going on? Someone tried to kill me. <laughs> Was that before or after breakfast? <laughs> Listen, I got a lead on the vanishings. It's shaky. It's insane, but it's all I've got. Let's see what Dirk died for. What the heck? How did Dirk get that? 
What's up with this? These letters. D-A-N-7. Some kind of code. What is that? I don't know, but let's find out. forget you for this. This ring will never forget you. Thousands of years we've waited. Generations. And you have made it possible. Yes, my friend. Now we are ready. What, what, what's the matter? It cannot be. We are surrounded by our enemies. There have been all these disappearances, so much turmoil. Your enemies will lay down their weapons when they have the formula, our formula. We can do the same, you and I. We can achieve the impossible. No question, it's a diagram of Solomon's temple. It used to stand on the holy site in the Jewish faith. Jews have been trying to rebuild this temple ever since the Romans destroyed it about 2,000 years ago. One of the holiest sites in the Muslim faith. The Dome of the Rock. Apparently both the Jews and the Arabs feel that this particular hunk of rock is pretty sacred. It would cause a war if the Jews try to bulldoze it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, here's what we need. Some sort of connection between the temple, the tracts of land, and the destroyed planes. I don't know what it is, but somehow all this stuff ties together with Stonegall and Catherine. International bankers. They're always the same. Follow the money, honey. Chloe? Sweetheart, I need to talk to you. I know where Mom and Ramey are. Where? Where are they? They're in heaven with God. Don't... Honey, please. Remember when Mom started going to church when Grandma died? Yes. But... Remember what you said then? Aren't you just doing the same thing? Aren't you just using God as a crutch? Listen, I, I know what I said, and I know that this is hard to take, especially coming from me, and I don't blame you, and I don't want you to take my word for it. Pastor Billings left a tape. Chloe, I want you to take a look at that tape. It explains everything. Do you remember when you told me that you used to listen to your mother and pretend to be interested? All I ask is that you do the same for me. Just think about it. We have confirmed that the disappearances have been caused by accumulated radiation from decades of nuclear weapons testing. We have destroyed our own children with our lust for violence and warfare. And it has to stop now. I am proposing the complete and total disarmament and destruction of all nuclear weapons by nations with nuclear capability. Yeah. Finally, somebody out there is making sense. I am working closely with my dear friend, Dr. Heim Rosenzweig. He has agreed to give his full support for a UN peace initiative and a program to see that every human mouth on Earth has been fed. That's a good man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right? check on you before I leave. How's your family? I still have my daughter Chloe, but my wife and son. I am so sorry. 
Are you going somewhere? I'm going to the UN. The only place that offers any hope. Unless I have a reason to stay. Patty, I have made. No, you don't. And don't. I don't. Please, please don't torture yourself. Okay, we all make mistakes. Okay, but it's not too late to start over. No fresh. Okay, I know what you've been through. It would crush anyone. I understand that. No, you don't. I'm a different person now. I should have listened to Irene. She tried to tell me I wouldn't listen. She was right. If I'd have listened, I'd have known that everything that I need in my life, everything I need to fulfill my life, is right here. It's right here with my family. Do you understand? What? All this time? That's why I need... I need you to forgive me. I need to ask what you to forgive me. What are you talking me. about? I was wrong. Ray, tell me. That what we feel is wrong. It's not about us. It's not. It's about something bigger and something better. I really thought you were stronger than that. Hattie, Go please. Away. Hattie. Wait, Hattie. Is that why you never had time for us? No, that's not it at all. Then why don't you tell me what it is? Honestly, I'm not sure if I know. My career, maybe the mortgage. I mean, sometimes you just get so wrapped up in life that you, well, one day you wake up and you realize that you've missed it. You've missed all the important things in life. Love is what we have. Chloe, your mother loved me and you more than I ever realized. I hated her church stuff and the people that would come over. I resented her for that. Not because I didn't understand it, because I didn't want her to need anything more than she needed me. Mom had the answers. All she wanted to do was share them with us. She was willing to suffer through the jokes and the patronizing and the coldness for me just to help us. I mean, if I could just go back before all this happened, if I could just, if I could just take the Are clock and turn me? it back a few minutes a day, I would. Are you telling me that they're dead? That they're not coming back? They're not coming back, baby. Listen, your mother left us with the truth. That there's something more, there's a greater love. She found that. And if she were here right now, that's what she'd be telling you. Are you sure this isn't just you feeling guilty because of your friend? It's not about guilt. I can't, I, I won't live without faith anymore. I won't. Why? Because God will send you to hell. You're a nice God. You get hell on earth and then you get hell after. Listen to me, sweetheart. It's not about hell. Either. We were given a gift, Chloe. We were given a gift and we blew it. It's not his fault. The ones that were believers are being spared from what's coming next. What's coming? It's going to get a lot worse. What could be worse than this? Hey, Buck, we got something here. What? The 10 tracks of land they all tie back to the UN. As part of the Disarmament and Peace Initiative. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So they belong to the UN. All right, that's why you guys get the big bucks. Now, what's that got to do with Stonegal? There's more. There's an archaeological research foundation in Israel. All underwritten by Stonegal's corporation. Your buddies, Stonegal and Conte. Why is it these two guys keep coming up good guys? Maybe they are. Hello. Hey, Buck. Alan, where are you? I'm in Chicago. I'm going to the airport. Chicago? Yeah. No. What? No. Stay right there. I'm on my way. All right. I'll call you from the plane.
Johnny. Fill her up. That's good. Good to see you. How are you, man? Okay. Considering the circumstances. So, you got any theories? Officially, it's radiation. Unofficially, the agency's running scared from the top down. Look, about this business at Dirk's place, are you sure you didn't get a look at the guy who shot at you? So you gotta figure he was the guy who killed Dirk. Man, he was so careful. I, I thought he'd outlast both of us. Wow, what were you guys into? That's what I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> but this is all that I got from him. Huh? So, um, is there anything on here about the airstrikes in Israel? No, it's financial stuff. Stonegal and Cothran have been loaning billions to the UN for years, and they're getting ready to call the loan. They're call the loans? Yeah. What are they going to do? Bankrupt the UN? <laughs> it's insane, right, man? I mean, what are they going to get? Ten useless tracts of land. Yeah. Wait. Rosenzweig's formula. That's it. The UN. That means they've been using Carpathia like a puppet. You mean it's... it's all about money? Come on, you're gonna have to go no, now. No, don't. Come on, no. let's go. I You've had I enough fun for one night, I think. Man, that's what Dirk was so crazy about. They're trying to control the world's food supply. I've got to get to Heim. Hey, that's not gonna happen, pal. Look, you let the agency handle it, I'm gonna get you to a safe house. Listen, Heim will listen to me. No. Buck. I do not want to lose you too. Hey. Right. Shouldn't take us too long to get to where we need to go. Good. You spare a dollar for an old grandma. Just give me please. a dollar. Oh, just a dollar. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, all right, all right, just a dollar is not going to break you. Okay, okay. I'm, I've got some change. They don't know. My friends are dead. Get I've got to get to the UN. The Warnheim. They're trying to control the world's food. We gotta get him some help. Okay. We we'll set up an emergency center at the New Hope Church. We'll take him there. So you're researching the disappearance of these people, huh? You say that you're interested in finding out what really happened to them? Take a look at this, it might help. You're watching this tape because millions of people have disappeared. Babies and children, still innocent in God's eyes, have vanished. There is much to fear. But not for those who are missing. Because they have placed their faith in Christ alone for salvation. They have been taken to heaven by Jesus himself. First Thessalonians tells us that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be. What's this? Some guy thinks the Bible has an explanation for the vanishings? This doesn't sound convincing to you? Oh, come on. Those scriptures are so vague, they could mean anything. Something else I should tell you. 
Pastor Billings vanished with the rest of them. I helped him make this tape three years ago. Three years ago? That's impossible. How could he have known? It's all in here. Including that. Ezekiel 38. Those codes. They're Bible verses. 38th chapter of Ezekiel, God promised to protect Israel against total annihilation by her enemies from the north. Miraculously. It's all in there. Exactly as you witnessed it. What about this one? These ten tracts of land are about to belong to Jonathan Stonegaard. What does your Bible say about that? It's Daniel 7, the rapture, the vanishings. This marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control ten kingdoms, which in turn will control the world. Yeah, but ten giant tracts of useless real estate doesn't seem like much of a kingdom to me. Unless they have the Eden formula. What? Stonegall, it's a plan to lock up the world's food supply. And this? 2 Thessalonians 2. And the Antichrist will sit in the temple of God, and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. The temple of God. You're talking about Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, aren't you? That's right. Whoever this Antichrist guy is, he's going to have one big war in his hands if he tries to rebuild this temple anytime soon. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Make no mistake about it. It's written in the scriptures. He will rebuild the temple. I guarantee it. But the Arabs are not going to just sit by and watch them build this thing. They'll make peace with Israel. Peace? In the Middle East? Daniel 9, chapter 27. And he will confirm a covenant with the many for seven years. All right, listen, I admit this stuff is compelling. Even scary. We can't just sit here. All right, nothing is going to change if somebody doesn't do something. But hold on. Wait. Buck. Buck, where are you going? Buck. No, I can't. All right, I've got to get to the UN and I've got to warn Heim. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How are you going to warn him? You won't even know the truth. The Bible says that if you don't put your faith in God, you will be deceived. What, you think you're being here is an accident? You know what I'm talking about. You can feel it. You can feel God tugging at your heart. Don't ignore him, Buck. Nikolai Carpathia will be our new Secretary General. What? We'll get you in the main auditorium in a few minutes. Mr. Carpathia will make a statement and then we'll have a couple minutes for questions. Thank you very much. Can you tell us everything more? Mr. Williams, the media room is this way. No, I'm going to see Jaime Rosen. My orders are to make sure he's undisturbed. Sir. I'll personally escort Mr. Williams. I have my orders, Mr. You are aware I act on Mr. Carpathia's behalf. Of course. My apologies, Mr. Williams, uh, Ms. Durham. I owe it all to you, Buck. Nikolai is a huge fan of yours. When he saw your letter of reference, I was asked to join his staff. He's a great man. There's no question this is the right place to be. For both of us. Ah, oh, Buck. I was hoping to see you here. I can't think of anyone more perfect to tell the story of this history-making announcement. I'm here to keep you from making a horrible mistake. Please, sit down. Okay, make sure the announcement goes out worldwide. Full media saturation. Repeat it every 30 minutes. Already in motion. Do you see? Stonegall and Catherine have been lying to you. Eden is part of their plan. But I'm turning over my formula to a consortium of UN delegates. It's our only hope now. It, it doesn't matter. Once they bankrupt the UN, Stonegall and Catherine will own it all. The land and the formula. They will control the entire world's food supply. We must tell Carpathia. Can 
Can this be true? We've used our dreams against us, Nikolai. It seems so unthinkable. Once the story hits, the whole world will know the truth. It's not that easy. These men were my mentors. And my friends. Sir, they're murderers. Buck, you have no reason to lie. Miss Durham. Email this to Mr. Williams' office. Tell him it's from me. Top priority. This information must be broadcast immediately. Thank you, Mr. Carpathia. Do not worry. You're under my protection now. Excuse me, what's that? Ah. This is a dream come true for all of Israel. Plans to rebuild our temple. The temple? But, but the Muslims, they'll never allow this. No, 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 no. The true site of the original temple has been found. It will stand next to their mosque. Perfect harmony. It's a wonderful omen, don't you think? We will be set to break the ground. In light of all this, we move forward. We announce the sharing of food with the world and the building of this Jewish temple as a symbol. Not just for Jews, but for every man and woman, for the whole of humanity. This marks the beginning of our seven years of peace. It can't be. Now, despite your doubts, Buck, this is going to be a great day. The stage is set, gentlemen. Let us change history. Thank you for everything you've done. Hein, you want this built? Yes, of course. This is the incentive for our leaders to sign the peace treaty. Do you have any idea what this means? I thought I did. Excuse me. Are you all right? Sweetheart, are you all right? This feels so helpless. I wish he'd call or something. Well, he has to find the truth on his own. I know. I just wish there was something we could do. We can ask God to help him find his way. prayed before. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I just know I need you. And 
and I believe. Just show me what to do. Mr. Williams, there you are. You okay? Yes. Come. Uh, we're about to go into this meeting before the big press conference, and I need you there when I confront Mr. Stonegall and Mr. Cothran. You will see justice done today. Don't worry. Call, stay close to Mr. Williams. Thank you, gentlemen. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the delay. Please be seated. Hi. Mr. Williams, please join us. Mr. Carpathia, we agreed there would be no media at this conference. Mr. Williams will be joining our delegation as its own media liaison. These changes should have been discussed beforehand. With us. Mr. Williams, journalistic credentials have always shown him to be a man only interested in the truth. That is what we are interested in here, the truth. Won't you all agree? Mm -hmm. We are about to turn this planet into a paradise. Unimaginable, only a few short weeks ago. Ten oasis regions, where each delegate is given complete control over his respective area. True global community, a true world of peace. This marks the beginning of our seven years of peace of seven years. This marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control ten kingdoms, which in turn will control the world. The Antichrist will sit in the temple of God and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. Upon each of you, I grant all the power and authority due to your new positions you are now kings and queens in your own lands, bringing prosperity and plenty to your peoples. All in my name. Nikolai, what are you saying? We never agreed to this. In the garden, there was a serpent who tempted Eve, leading to man's banishment from paradise. That serpent has stood between us and paradise ever since. What's this about, Carpathia? It's about you two. Serpents in my garden, using unity and prosperity for your own gain. <laughs> Nikolai, you know, that's preposterous. Do not lie to me. So small, so easily manipulated. Tell me, Jonathan. Who is the puppet here? Look where I am, and look where you are. Do you have any idea? Do you know who you're dealing with? Do you? I welcome all of you to join this great team. Do you accept my invitation? We made you, Nikolai. You're our creation. I see. Donald M. Alternus? 
Yes, sir. That's me. Of Newark, New Jersey. Why, yes, sir. May I call you Don? Don. Give me your side arm. So begins an object lesson in leadership. Nikolai, you lost your mind. What are you doing? Nikolai. Sit down, Haim. Look, we, uh, we, we, we all want the same thing, right? I'm sure you're right. Miss Durham, could you please step back? We wouldn't want that suit to be soiled. On your knees, Jonathan. No. No, I will do no such thing. Someone has to stop this! Fuck! We are on the same team. Are we not? Nikolai, these people will know that I fear no one. That I fear nothing. That I will succeed at anything I set my mind to. Without the slightest hesitation or opposition. From this day forward, no one can stand against me. That's the kind of power you lusted for, Jonathan. Don't worry. This will be completely painless. After all, I am not a monster. <laughs> oh, on, please. I was so shocked when I saw Mr. Stonegal rush the guard, take his gun, and murder his dear friend, Mr. Coulter, in cold blood. Then, to watch him turn the gun on himself, it seemed inconceivable. But Jonathan was a troubled man, plagued by guilt and fear. And when he heard that Mr. Williams was about to expose him, he knew it was over. He knew that his hideous and evil plan would come out and that his life, his legacy, everything he worked so long and hard for would be ruined. I know that you wanted to do that for Dirk and Alan. But I could not have my new media liaison with blood in his hands. I have big plans for you, Buck. That story you sent to GNN about Stone Golden Cauldron should be airing right at this very moment. The whole world will feel sympathy and love for me. They will follow me wherever I lead them. Because of you. So thank you, Buck. Thank you. I think we are all in agreement. Two lives taken in tragedy, all because of greed. How terribly sad. <laughs> terribly sad. Terribly sad. <laughs> terribly sad. Oh, no! No! Why? Ladies and gentlemen, get back, please. Where is he? They're both dead. Let's get the delegates out of here right now. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please, clear this room now. This way, please. Clear the room. Are you okay? Two old boys! Lock this place down now! Get back right now! What did you see? I saw Mr. Sonical grab the gun from the guard's belt, shoot Mr. Cothran, 
And then he shouted something about wanting forgiveness. Turned the gun on himself so often. You saw it. I'm Nikolai. What about Nikolai? Oh, the poor man. He was so deceived. He was so heartbroken. Imagine his own best friends. Fuck, are you okay? Hattie, this is unbelievable. I know, it's horrible. It's so tragic. When Stonical grabbed that gun. It... Hattie. Hattie, you are in such. I know. Privileged position. I intend to do whatever I can to help Nikolai. He's a great man. I have to go. <clears throat> His evidence is the courage of Nikolai Carpathia in exposing this evil plan. And yet the head of the UN continues to show no regard for his own personal safety and yet has vowed to press forward with his own peace initiatives and disarmament. In a world sadly lacking in leadership, Carpathia stands out as a beacon of hope for the lost. Everything the Bible predicted is happening. If this is true, and the Antichrist has come into power, then this is just the beginning. The next seven years are going to be the worst that mankind has ever seen. Our only hope is to join together and trust God. I don't have all the answers, but for now, faith is enough. <laughs>